Live Rome Party Studio. Live Jerome Harden Studios. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my discast. I will say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? You sure alright? Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So today's topic we're going to talk about today is uh, how uh, black businesses support each other. So um, what that means is um, the reason I am uh, doing this topic is because we have a hell of a lot to discuss um, because I have run across uh, a lot of business groups. You know, I um, be on a lot of groups on Facebook and I mainly post on black businesses. I see how uh, people are hustling all this stuff, um, giving good reviews, people want to buy from their own people and all this stuff. But um, you want me to tell you the positive side or the negative side? Um, I think we should start with the positive side of uh, being a black business owner or business or, or owning your own business or running a business or being an entrepreneur at the least. Um, being an entrepreneur is um, like saying, for instance, that you earn your own money. Um, you don't get paid um, automatically, by the way. Uh, you get uh, paid by uh, sales, uh, commissions, and all that stuff. So uh, that's what being an entrepreneur is. Or, being an entrepreneur, if someone signs up under you, then you can get money that way or permission or however you want to call it. But uh, sorry, it's raining outside right now. So please forgive me for the rain in the background. Or if you like the rain in the background, um, good for you. I am glad you like it. Um, figure I would want to do a newscast with the rain in the background anyway. So um, by the way, folks, um, back to what I was talking about, um, being an entrepreneur is, you know, getting commissions and all that stuff. You don't get paid automatically. You know, you can be your own boss and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. As a matter of fact, uh, there are a lot of locally owned businesses around where I live, which is in Huntsville, Alabama, where business businesses has been, um, open for 30 plus years 50 or even 60 something like that or even open up late back into the eight late 1800 so um yeah so imagine being in the 1800s trying to start an old business i mean how do you announce your business i mean there are no computers um i don't know if there are newspapers yet definitely there are no tvs yet so the only way you can uh pronounce announce out your business or give people your name trying to spread the word and all that stuff this is mainly word of mouth um it can go up to um the 70s and stuff when it started where you can um advertise your business on newspapers and all that stuff but you still have to pay uh monthly fees or something like that to get your name out so that's in called investing anyway so um what has changed over the years so um as far as being a black business owner, you know, people are buying from their own people, all this stuff, you know, people are making products such as uh, CBL, uh, cannabis, uh, people making juices, people opening restaurants, you know, I tried a food truck once right by my house, and let me tell you, it's very good, I mean, I forgot the name of it, I think, it, uh, I remember now, it was Munchies, um, I wish I, um, they had a website or something like that where I can give you reviews. Um, I also forgot that I forget to have um, give them my business card as well. But I can't wait to try these guys again because their food was good. The fries was jumping. The burger, hmm, man, I wish I could have that burger again. But anyways, um, well, I was planning to you know visit a lot of black businesses because you know. I see people hustling. I see their products. I mean, they have a lot of good products. Um, I see this lady one time on Facebook that she's selling, you know, a lot of accessories. Um, I think it was uh, marbles and all that stuff. You know, it was like the herbs or something. I mean, it was, I can't remember the name of it, but I did not have enough money on the time. But their pro that product, their product was good as hell. I mean, 
I love it. I mean, it was beautiful. It was like the earth like. I mean, I wish I could buy that right now. I wish I could remember the name of that. That was what well, I'm talking about. It's coming from a black owned business. Um, and um, uh, there's a lot of uh, black owned businesses too around the Huntsville area, most, mostly in North Huntsville or throughout the area. But um, if I can remember the names of it, um, I think I don't remember the, those names, but if I do come across those names again, I'll definitely let y'all know about it next time I makes a newscast like this again. But um, yeah, so I like it that the people are hustling and all that stuff, trying to get their own money and stuff. Cause you know, I I totally understand people don't like don't like working for anybody else or they just you know walking out of their jobs trying to start their own life, their own business, serve their own people, trying to get good reviews, trying to, you know, make the name for themselves. I mean, I totally like that because, you know, to me, it's just like, you know, people are just, you know, making a living for themselves, you know, people are getting the word out on Facebook, on newspapers, billboards, um, TVs, you know, anything you can name to get your business out there. I like it, you know, and, you know, I'm a graphic designer, so a lot of people be hitting, hit me up for, you know, advertisements, you know, uh, I think I need to start doing advertising for people too. Um, I also do flyers where you know you can promote your stuff, pass out business cards. You can pass them out as well to get the word out. That's what I mainly do anyway. Um, put them in the uh, local shops, hair barber shops, you know, hair stylists, you know, uh, beauty salons, you know, you name it. You know, anything you can put your business card in, which allows business cards. You can do it, but. Sometimes you can see a no soliciting sign and, you know, I get that because, you know, people don't want solicitors, you know, people don't want business cards to be handed out to them and think people are stealing business from them. So, um, I totally understand. I would be the same way if they did that to me. But, um, yeah, so being a local business owner, running your own business, you know, your own bread and butter, you know, it can be a different ball game than just working for the same year. So, uh, somebody else will work in a nine to five job, but, um, yeah, so this is what I mean when, you know, working, being your own boss and stuff. I started my business back in 2015, so my business is actually six years old, and actually, let me tell you again, Jerome Hart Studios is not six years old. It's about to be 11 on April 9th, so, um, I didn't get to celebrate much on my 10 year anniversary, but... 11 year anniversary 2011 11 years earlier i think i have an idea for that so um yay me i'm going to be you know doing something like that so right now i am going to um do what i need to do because this is seriously needs to be discussed right here and right now so let me go back to um is black owned businesses in Huntsville, Alabama that I need to discuss. Um, you know, I um looking at this right now and I see a lot of people posting and all that stuff and you know I like that. You know, I understand people are trying to get their hustle up. People are looking for people trying to get certain products done such as, you know, beauticians, hair barbers, you know, uh uh repair shops, you know, owned by black businesses, you know, that, you know, need services. So, totally understand that, you know. And this group has, um, this is a Facebook group, by the way. Um, this is a public group, and it has over 32,000 members. So, um, imagine if you put your business out there, um, you know, you can, you can get many people depend on how good you are or how um good you are with your skills so um and i know this there are some good business owners and good business people you know that are very serious about you know their craft um about their money and i totally get that but i am looking at this and i seeing too many people scamming our own people and it's very it makes me um very frustrated and it's very upset and it's very very sad because a lot of people have spent their earned money just to get nothing at all um and we need to do better about this because um let me type it in again black on business give me a minute folks
just give me a minute. All right, I just typed in black owned business in the Huntsville, Alabama uh, refund. And I'm not trying to bash all black business owners because I'm trying to get to the point and I'm trying to put this issue out there that we have a problem in this group because me, myself, I'm a black business owner myself and I hate to see other people bashing black businesses like that, especially when people are trying to do good. And even though people uh, put the rules out in writing, full contract, um, people sometimes don't even read at all. And and they, they talk about, uh, oh, it's a scam. Don't do business with this person, all that stuff. I mean, this is like, oh, I see another bit. I see another. Okay, hold on a second. So, North Alabama Black Owned Business Reviews. Okay, so I did not, uh, I don't know about this group, but here it is. Um, this is uh, North Alabama Black Owned Business Reviews. I think I go and join that group. Um, and yes, I am black. Okay. All right. So, my membership is pending. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so I'm reading, um, I paid this lady in advance to airbrush the denim outfit I bought. I'm not going to say this person's name. I'm just reading what I have saw in this group because I need to get this issue out there because to me, um, I don't know if I'm going to stay in this group or not because people be causing a lot of drama in this group. And we're supposed to be professionals, by the way. We're not supposed to be on Jerry Springer, Mari, Steve Wilkos, and all that. So, um, let's see. Um, and there's a lot of comments on this on this post right here. Um, it has 148. Um, yeah, sometimes... The, it's the customer's fault that, you know, they are not clear of what they're saying. And and sometimes it's the business owner's fault for not uh, delivering the product, always making excuses and all this stuff. So there are both sides of the story. Um, and sometimes people believe the other person. Sometimes people don't believe the other, which is the <clears throat> truth. And sometimes people want to just go assume the facts of what the person the complaint is um oh, sorry uh, what i'm saying is sometimes people want to go with the person that complains about the business um and the business owner are trying to explain everything even though they're on the right and you know the people don't want to believe that person so that's the problem right there um i had a pr uh, the problem myself um and I'm trying my best to do better. And I'm trying to my best, you know, to be the best black business owner out there as everybody else. I know a few good people that do good business. I talk to them and, you know, their products are fire. I mean, you know, it's just, you know, I am, I'm even friends with them on Facebook. So, um, and let me, let me go back. Um, all right, let me back out. Um. Okay, and by the way, this group is in Huntsville based, by the way. Um, it's not in everything else. It's in Huntsville. Not anywhere else in Huntsville. So, it's very scary that you know that people are scamming and, you know, and you scamming your own people right here in my own hometown. Are you serious, people? I mean, it's very frustrating that you're losing your money um, that you worked hard for. I mean, imagine the same situation, so... Yeah. And by the way, um and here is a um bulletin in this group and it says good morning everyone. I'm noticing some things about this page that are not professional. This page is was created to allow black legal businesses to network within the city or region. The following needs to stay off this page. Scammers seen them too many times personal or religious quotes okay and selling food stamps let's keep this page legit and report anything suspicious thank you so um i just read this and you know this 
um, administrator is taking action to uh, remove scammers or people that are not doing right. So good for them because this is one of the reasons I'm uh, finding a lot of clients myself. And this has been going on for at least two months now, but I'm trying my best, you know, to get my name out there more. And I think I need to go back to, you know, um, going to vendor events and passing out business cards again. And and vendor doing vendors is a good place to start to get your name out by the way um back then you couldn't do it on facebook at all um you can only do it on newspaper word of mouth um such and such um and and this in this post and they talk about food stamps okay we're not going to talk about that um okay so i've seen i'm reading this another uh post in this group and it's posted on december 12th I'm seeing quite a few bad reviews. Are we really giving out bad or are we critical of our own people? And sometimes we, we, um, uh, and we get critics of every, uh, business owner will be getting critics. You know, Walmart will do that. Um, get, we'll get critics. Local restaurants will get critics. Uh, just about every business in America will get criticism. So, um, you just not, you're not the only one people, trust me, um, we get criticism everywhere. So everything we do, we get criticism and we just have to deal with it. Um, and I think I posted a comment in there. Um, and like, I think I need to read this comment and it says, I was so sad to see how service employees are treated while recently volunteer as one. As the people who have been oppressed and subjected to unfair practices all around, you would think that we would um, be the most appreciative of being served as well. I watched, I watched some really beautiful on the outside people really treat some services personal, including myself, like the help in which even if we were in that moment, there is a Standard going both ways. Uh, now I know that they are shysty, rude, nasty folks in service work positions. But there are also some beautiful, kind, caring people working as stylists, nail techs, postal workers, retail workers, and owners, food service employees, which I used to do food service at my first job, and catering businesses and employees' service. These are not service. They're just good people trying to make an honest living like you are. It made me sad to see how people will treat others that they feel are less than they are. Truly sad. So, I just read this comment and it seems people forget that it takes everyone in this world to make this world go around. So, imagine this. Um, rent is already high. Food prices is going up and... I think I posted a TikTok video about gas prices. I've been hearing rumors about this rumor that gas prices will be going back up this summer. So I don't know. I mean, it's, I think it's just a rumor on the news. But, you know, I'm not God. I'm not trying to, you know, um, say that prices will go back up because I don't know. I'm not uh, spreading uh, fake facts here. So, um, yeah, so... I'm just um, reading the comments right now, but seriously, people, if you want to do have a good reputation, you want to do a uh, business with your own people, just do it right. Don't scam people, okay? Because I hate the word scam, and it just irks me so much that I had to come across um, posts in this group like this, but it happened too many times. Um... It's just not one time that this happened. It happened many times in this group. And I just don't want to put a dent in this group. But I un I un totally understand. But I applaud the administrator that he's trying his best to suspect any scammers or trying to locate any scammers that are trying to do bad and people are not doing it right. So kicking them out of this group would be the best option for them. Or if the owner... um explain themselves of what happened i mean that's understand too or correct the problem that's understandable too but if you just not respond to the business owner which kind of irks so much um yeah i think the administrator should kick them out so um <laughs>
And now I am reading this comment right here. Um, I'm not going to say this person's name, but here it is. Nobody is ready for this grown conversation. The last time I tried to have this conversation, I was told my black dollars need to go elsewhere. So I guess I'm the problem. Good luck. Okay, yeah. All right. So I'm tr I guess this person is trying to give some advice to the business owner, you know, trying to do better, which I totally understand. You know, yeah. Both. All right, I'm reading this com next comment. Um, uh, I'm not going to read all the comments. I'm just going to read some, by the way. Um, both. I'm giving my person until tomorrow before I post it to follow up with me after standing me and my daughter up yesterday for breaks. Although I seen her post today, something may have happened. So I'm giving her time to reach out to me, which is fair. Okay, very understandable customer right there. By the way, I do love having people that do understand. Even though I'm late, I appreciate you people trying to work with me and all that stuff. And I still give them a product, by the way. So I'm very happy with the people I got right there and my supporters. Yeah. And sometimes this is why, you know, it's very difficult to get money that way because of, you know, shit like this happening. And now I'm reading the next comment right here. I am very critical of whoever I spend my money with. I don't care what color you are. Bad business is bad business. People aren't wrong for calling it out when they have been truly wrong and have exhausted all measures to have it corrected to no avail. When I'm contemplating making their purchase on Amazon, etc., I look for both the good and bad reviews. I expect the same here. So very understandable. Very critical of what you spend, who you spend your money with. Very understandable. Yes, yeah, so. And I'm reading this next comment. Can I add this um, note as a consumer? Can I get an actual social media page for your business and make your personal page private? I cannot count the number of times I checked here first for rare services. I love that people will add their recommendation, but if I go to a linked page and it's unprofessional or just a mess, it's a quick note for me. So be careful not to mix your business page with your personal page and also and he is i think he's right and you need to make your personal page private too so if that person that uh trying to do business where you go on your personal page and it's a mess and you try to act ratchet on your personal page cuss out or anything you know all that shit you know they just go going on some, some uh, going elsewhere because it's just like going to a job interview where and uh, if an employer looks at your personal page on how ratchet you are they're not going to hire you uh who wants a ratchet person working for them anyway so um well um i'm just looking at this but anyways um and this is what um uh, prompted me to talk about this topic because um like i just read this person's comment and she was upset because i think that she had uh sent this person money through cash app um and they did not refund her i think it was a hair braiding sir hair braiding that she was supposed to get done but i don't remember but i have to look at it again but um i think i'm gonna read this next last comment and then we're going to explain everything that we discussed and then we're going to end the newscast from there all right this comment bad service i know some amazing black business owners that deliver every time but then there's those that don't so um all right so another comment right there um i just read this person and you know very understandable you know whoo what well, both i got scammed a few weeks ago you know bad business is bad business period and here's another comment. I tried to support black business as much as I could, but at the bottom line is many of us absolutely suck at it. God damn, man. Whew. I'm reading this comment. It's just, you know, just, whew. Man, don't say that with our, uh, about our own people, man. I mean, every color does that, you know. Just don't do it to our own people. We not, you know, we ain't, we ain't the main story right now, buddy. 
I mean, let me read this comment again. I tried to support black businesses as much as I could, but the bottom line is many of us absolutely suck at. No customer service skills, no type of professionalism. Answer the phone <laughs> like, yo, who this? Too many of us are just a collection of bad attitudes, terrible service, but expect customers to pay top dollar and continue to support their purchase. Shake my head. Just yesterday, I went into Black Spirit store because I wanted to buy four cases of wine for my party. It literally took me 15 minutes to get one of your players to come over and assist me. Many of their bars aren't, weren't labeled, so I, I had to ask her about the prices. Less than three minutes into asking what costs what, she walks off and starts helping another customer. Boy, she she abandoned me like that, and I'm trying to, you know, get some assistance. Boy, I would be pissed off. Okay, so, where was I? All right, she walks off and starts helping another customer. I waited for a few minutes, thinking that she was going to come back, and she just went on about business and let me hate. So I realized she or any other point weren't coming back to first assist me. I left those kids where they were and walked out. It's sad. But this is, oh damn, this is the norm for too many of the black businesses around here. Seriously, around in Huntsville, Alabama, are you serious? Come on, people. Come on, we got to do better than this. All right. So, all right. Is it a black spirit source around in Huntsville? Yes, we do. Um, But since I refuse to support their substandard for first I'm not going to um, mention their name, but very nice guy. Um, trying to, you know, trying to keep their names out their mouth, you know. And he's a gentleman, you know, very professional. We not cuss out, you know, very professional. All right, so I think I'm going to stop right there. And um, all right, so before I end this newscast, um, no matter who you are, what color you are, or whatever, if you're an alien or human, whatever, cow, chicken, whatever, be sure to do good, your people right, do good business, don't scam people, don't leave them hanging, you know, just don't give them, don't, just don't do bad shit at all, period, you know, scamming, stealing people's money, what they work hard for, you know, just don't do it, okay, there's too many of us about out there that, you know, it's just not right, okay? So, um, I'm going to end this newscast from there. And um, tune in for another newscast. And I'll see you next time. But until next time, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.